Hoffnung, dass er... Right, you folks, as you can see there, I've got my hammock set up within 10 minutes. As you can tell, I haven't got the tarp up, therefore I don't have a tarp line. And I realised quickly when I was putting up the bungee cords attached to the mosquito net there, I just attached them onto the, the carabiners, as you can see right in there. And the same at the other side. Uh, it seems to hold up fine, especially when you sink in, there's going to be plenty of headroom. I'll try it out in a minute. Just quick release knots attached to the carabiners, which are also ho holding up the webbing. I noticed in one video last week there, a guy that does a lot of good reviews. I can't remember your name at this time, sir, but I'll have something on the, the bottom of the page if I can find your, your video again. But it's basically this DD hammock. Uh, the poles are in place. As you can see here, it's like a little, a little buttonhole. Uh, basically the rod goes in place and it just slips back out here. A lot of people seem to be having problems leaving it like that and as soon as you get in it, it goes back and before you know it the mosquito net is messed up. I don't know why people haven't been seeming to get this right. This one and this side as I've just done is very easy. All you have to do is when you're pushing it in, I don't think I'll be able to do it just now with one hand. But this one just goes in and if you persevere enough you try and get the material here at the edge back over like I say, it is one hand that I'm doing it with ah, there you go excellent, now that's in place and right up to the corner so it's not going to be slipping out I do admit however, on this side it is much more difficult and I think it's because maybe the material's been stitched a little tighter and I usually have to persevere for at least a, a minute or two sometimes with this one but I got quick today Secret is to be gentle but firm at the same time and get it in place, but they do fix in place, you just have to persevere and get that last bit back over. Uh, so, just the tree huggers onto the webbing. I noticed the last time when I was doing the camp overnight, as you saw in another video, my hammock seems to be a bit more slouchy and I don't know if it's because of the, the distribution when it comes to the equal length. As you see here, this is one end of the webbing and the other end ended up there. I was in two minds whether or not to take the knots out and uh, even up the webbing again. But I'm going to leave it just now. I don't know if uh, the sleep mat underneath and other things made it a little worse too, but it seems to be actually okay just now. This side zips up, it should be more even. It didn't seem even the last time, but it seems more even now, which is good. David's decided just to put the tarp up, he says, just for extra practice and his knots, and whatever. And she could tell him if he need it. <laughs> yeah, I just come down with a little black bag, a little laptop bag, which is serving me well as quick stuff. Got the hammock in there with the tree huggers. I also had uh, the ground sheet, and uh, got a little bit of envelopes just for kindling to get a quick start. And I've got my Mora knife down with me, and I'll get some firewood going, we're going to have just a wee cup of tea chill out for an hour or two on this Sunday Sunday afternoon nothing beats a good Sunday round about here, you can always tell it's still a rest day when you get to the cities you don't know what day it is even on a Sunday, it's just busy 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 but uh, down here it's good where we live I think this is going to be like the training ground eh David? This will be the wee training ground, I think, when it comes to bug out locations and things. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas of places, but it won't be about here anyway. It's too easy to be caught down here or anything. But I've got a couple of places in mind. Maybe to speak of that more in, more in time to come. Uh, so I'm going to go on and just get a wee stove fire going. And uh, as you see, the pots and pans are just in the bag there. I had to, they were there for the last time and the last time it was camping so I'm just going to take a little kettle out of it and get a couple of cups of tea on the go and that'll be that. So, see you in a bit.
Right, you folks, we're ready now. This has got our stuff set up. It's getting a little bit shady with the clouds, but hopefully the weather stays off. Dave's got a wee kindling bit going there, and some dead wood. We're not going to have a big fire or nothing, just for a cup of tea, basically enjoy the next couple of hours relaxing. But as usual, not much to get down here. I bring the tea bags, I bring the sugar, I bring the cups, I bring the kettle. Or what did I forget? The water. <laughs> There's always something. But hey, this is Scotland, we've got some of the best spring water in the world. Unfortunately, we've got a great amount of rain as well, so luckily enough, lying by, there's a little celebrations box that's been abandoned by people that just don't respect the woods. But usually when people are litter and leave things behind, there's always a use for it. So we're actually going to boil that and actually see how it goes. Don't have any water filtration, so what we're doing may be risky. I'll let you know the next day if my stomach's sore. But in the meantime, I'm dying for a cuppa. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You can hear them. Right, too, that's the kettle on. Get a wee cuppa. I'm reckoning right now we've got at least three to four hours left of daylight. It's a nice wee trip. It's three o'clock just now in the afternoon. That's a little setup. All my videoing's done by hand just now, folks, because I've lost uh, the head off my. Uh, tripod, the bit attaches to the camera and slides on for a quick release, I'll show you later, but it's all by hand until I, until I get a little replacement. But I've just got mine up, tied the bug net up there, I'm skating it. I'm not going to be needing anything just now in the next few hours, nothing to worry about. Oh, there's a dog, someone's coming. A couple out walking, I need to be quiet. Well, it'll matter much because the smoke's enough for Guy Fox now. <laughs> Because of the bad weather, and that, I mean everything's wet, there's surprisingly quite a lot of dry wood and dead wood as well, but they're not as much dry, but we've managed to start up and it's continued ever since, so just going to sit back and relax in the hammock for five until this water's boiled and then we'll get a little cup of chill out for a couple of hours and back up the road, up into the house. Every time I'm down though, I just feel as if I could be doing an overnighter. That couple seems to be walking back. The scary men are in the woods again. And take it easy now, I think. And David decided to go and get fresh water and some pocket cafe lattes and cappuccinos rather than using the water the rain water and the celebrations. We're not there yet, so... <laughs> Dave likes to do it at the posh well, I needed a cup. I don't know why, I seem to forget more and more these days. I seem to be getting more careless. Anyway... Enough is seen what I'm seeing.